放題As you can see, this kata is so amazing that it doesn't even fit in the camera frame. So let's get started by teaching you the kata. The first thing you do is bow. Now put your left hand on top of your right, and then let both of your hands come together in front of your chin as you then fold your fingers. Let your elbows come together and let your heels go out, and then your toes out into your yoi or ready stance in a perfectly parallel heiko dachi with both of your fists in front of your hip sockets. Now from here, I'm gonna just bend my knees and bring my left foot in, heels together, and perform a circular motion with my left and right hand into my starting position. My left hand is pointing at my right hand, which is at jodan or high level. So chudan is this mid level, right? Now from here, I'm gonna step forward with my left leg into a very important stance. You're gonna do this position a lot in this kata. My legs are in what's known as a moto dachi or a shizen dachi, depending on what terminology you wanna use, which is essentially a foot width apart and the same length as your natural step would have. Imagine you're outside walking. This is kind of my natural step. That's the length you wanna have. And then the outside edge of your foot should be pointing forward. So you have a little bit of internal hip rotation as you then squeeze to get that hip torque and have a stable stance. And then your arms are in this Miyotode, Okinawan fighting style stance, which literally translates to husband and wife hands. So both fists are pointing forward, but one is in front of the other. Almost like old school boxing, if you've seen those black and white videos. So, from this position, you're gonna perform a palm heel strike plus a reverse punch, a gyakutsuki, at the same time. And at the same time as I did that, I also did a skip forward. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I do a small step off the center line, and then I come under and go into the other side, perform that same double strike. Look. Now, there's actually a kiai on that very first, a double strike, which is super weird because most kata have the kiai at the end, so make sure you pay attention to that very first kiai. Now I'm gonna go into the same stance on the other side. Step off the center line and go into that same kind of old school fighting stance one more time. But now from here, I'm gonna slide back instead. I'm gonna do a reverse punch, a gyakutsuki, and a jodantsuki, a high punch. Then I'm gonna do a maigiri plus a block at the same time. And you do this several times in the kata, so make sure that the block is high enough so that you don't kick 
or knee your own elbow because that hurts. Now, step across, come around and go into that same stance again, both arms uh, in front of you. Now from here I'm going to slide forward with a jab with my left hand and as my right leg comes behind it, I go into a, a finger jab plus a block at the same time. And then I do the same thing on the other side. I step off the center line, I go into my stance and I jab and finger jab. Now, keep going into a shikodachi, like a sumo stance with your right leg. As you drop down, you pull both hands back and do a double punch. Then you look to your right and you do a double block. We call this a manji uke. And if you know a kata called heiku, it's the exact same thing. From here, you sweep and do one more block. Then you look down and you perform two punches. One, two. Now from here, I'm gonna just look to my left, move my right leg, into my fighting position one more time. From here I'm gonna slide to the front and perform a high block plus a reverse punch at the same time. I then look to my 45 degree angle to the right, I slide and I do another double strike plus I keep going in that direction into a shikodachi and an elbow strike. So imagine you're grabbing and pulling at the same time as you're elbowing. This hand stops in front of your chest. Now, I'm gonna look straight to my left, slide forward into my old school fighting position one more time. From here, I'm gonna do a slight step again off the center line into my block and kick, like we did before. I then keep going with two punches. One, two. Then I step back and I perform like a hammer fist strike that goes up. Some people claim that it's a block, but it might as well be a strike. In any case, you want your ki at this point. Then I do the same thing, the same sequence to the other side. So I look, I move my left leg here. I step, block and kick, and I go one, two. Then I step back and ki. So my pinky side of my hand is up. Let's move back a little bit. Now I'm gonna move my left leg to that point as I turn around and block and punch at the same time. So I punch with my left hand and I block with my right hand. One. And then from this position, I immediately punch with my right hand. Quite difficult, so try to get a, a, a try to use your hips. Koshi o hineru, as we say in Japanese. Then, I push down, osai uke, and I come in with a uraken, a back fist, with my right hand. And that same kind of shuffling foot motion. I then turn back to the front again. Move my right leg, and I go around this way, into my kamae. From here I'm going to do a movement that looks similar to what you would do in a kata called anan dai. Almost. So look, my legs do the same thing. And my hands do this, a solar plexus height finger jab, plus one more with the other hand. So one, this way, imagine you're pushing down and coming in under, one, and then with the other hand, two. So it comes from under, this way. Then I step across, small side step, and go into my kamae one more time. Then I do that same first move, one, but then my other hand comes down like this. Same move you would do in a kata called paiku. So like this. Then I step back and do one punch with my front hand. Then I move my uh, front leg back and do one more punch. After this, I'm gonna do the kick and block one more time together. So look, one, and then this is quite unusual. I'm gonna do one more kick with the same leg and a low block at the same time. Then I put my foot down. Turn around, go into your fighting stance. Again, I'm gonna now perform the same movement I would do at the beginning of the kata. Bam, bam, and then back. One, two, 
two straight punches. In the beginning you did chew down, jaw down, now it's just chew down, chew down. Now, I'm going to slide, block and kick in all four directions. Look to your right, slide back away from the opponent, block and kick. Do the same thing to this direction. Put your right leg down, slide away, block and kick. Now in that direction, so you slide to your left, block and kick. And then behind you, one more, block and kick together. From here, drop down and do that same high block and straight punch like you did previously in your Zenkutsu Dachi. But now I'm down here. And this is your last Kiai in the Kata. Then stand up, open your left hand. As you step back, push down and whip out one more back fist strike like you did at one point previously. Then you slide back and go into your Kamae one more time. From here, we're gonna finish the kata on the other side, so mirrored from what we started with. I step back to this side now, instead of this side. As I go one, two, and then to the front, bring your hands together, and bow. And that concludes Ohan Dai. Now have a look at the full kata one more time, now that you know what you're actually looking at. Oh, damn!